Good morning, sweet girl. I'm sorry, today's gonna be a little rough. But we get you through it. I love you. <sighs> Poor girl. She's going to get her spay. So she's gonna have a rough couple of days. We're also getting her mouth x-rayed to see if we can figure out what's going on with this inflammation. There might be some removal of teeth. I don't know how I feel about that. Definitely gonna have them call me before they make any decisions like that. There's all this construction going on around here. What the F? Oh boy, if Lucy and I are gonna keep doing these adventures as the seasons change, not that this is particularly an adventure, I'm gonna have to get myself like a balaclava in some way to warm her pack. This city air, it bites. But we are almost at the vet. I hate to leave her there. But I worked a bunch of extra hours this week so that I could have time today to do whatever she needs. I love you. And to get you through this day, and it'll be okay. Okay, well, we've got the girl dropped off, filled out all the paperwork. Cross your fingers. Um, taking the scenic route home. You know why. Gotta get me a Duncan. This guy, the Duncan, super cool at this Duncan. He gave me a, a hot tip. Since I get an extra shot of espresso, he said, uh, get a macchiato next time. It's cheaper. Huh, who knew? On our way home now, we'll uh, keep you all posted on the gal. A few moments later. We got Lucy home. She's in good spirits. In fact, a little too good of spirits, if you ask me. Because she will not stop licking her surgery spot. But uh, more on that in just a second. Good news is uh, she didn't need any teeth out. So that's great. Uh, weird news is doctor's not sure why on earth she would have pockets in her gums, basically holes where her baby teeth used to be and just nothing ever came in or healed. Very strange. Um, but he says he hopes that, you know, they will uh, heal over time and uh, get better. But we gotta keep an eye on it and see what happens. In the meantime, I'm taking her on a late night run to PetSmart because I'm hoping that they have suticles. There's just no way she's gonna keep the cone on. As soon as I get it on her, she immediately gets it off. So, uh, I don't trust her to be home alone. So that's why we are making this late night run together to the small pets to see if we can find her a little t-shirt. I tried calling, but of course, can't get through. So we'll see what happens. Worst comes to worst, I'm cutting up one of my shirts to make her a darn suitable. Just bopping along to the midnight. It's really, latest album is really an appropriate choice for a new New Yorker. But if you recall, I've lived here my whole life. Don't hate them cinematic ambulance lights. Not the most options here, sadly, and kind of surprisingly. Uh, $40 or calm paws for dogs, extra small. Uh, could also just try getting her a regular hoodie. BFF? Maybe? I don't know if you can tell, but uh, I took this out of the package to check the size. And it has clearly been worn, which is not my favorite for something that's $40. 
So I managed to find one that looked like maybe it hadn't been previously worn. Not normally such a stickler, but uh, maybe I'm just getting miserly in my old age. But also, you know, scents are important to non-human animals. So, you know, you want something that's not gonna smell weird for her. Just met a lovely individual. Trying to get to Whole Foods. Of course, I couldn't really understand him that clearly. It took a few tries. And it's like, I don't know. I don't normally shop at Whole Foods, but I think there's one on uh, Flatbush, like a mile, mile and a half. Uh, it's not that far, bro. It's the next light. Okay. Then what do you need my help for? Jeez. All right, we are finally home. <sighs> About to see me try to get this thing on this kitty cat. Okay, so this is the top. <sighs> Let's try the other one. Okay, baby. I'm sure this will be annoying. <laughs> you already know. Almost there, baby. And it's not even gonna be long enough. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Lucy. Do you wanna play the guitar? My little BFF? Well, we tried. We'll see how it goes. Um, this is gonna be a stressful number of days while I worry about this surgery site and keeping her safe. Oh, she hates it. Oh, and she's taking it off. <laughs> so I just had the realization that this tiny thing I got for dogs, I was looking at backwards. I thought that the back end was covered so they couldn't pee or poop. And I was like, wow, that's a pretty stupid design. It turns out that would, in fact, be quite the stupid design. So this cat's going to hate me. I'm going to go for round two. I kind of, uh, I, I had it on her in a way. I was like, maybe if I just leave, you know, the back end off, it'll be enough to keep her from going at her surgery site. So I'm going to remove it, continue to fill her up with treats to try and keep her happy. <sighs> well, I'm just wrapping this up on the phone. Just the camera battery's dead. It's DJI mics work with the phone too, so that's cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm very stressed. Right now, she's wearing the cone. I tried affixing it to her harness or some such to see if she can maybe not take it off that way, but she was still able to get out. I tried the dog thing. I can't get her in it. I tried the sweater. Tried a sock. Not big enough. My next step is to try cutting up a t-shirt. We'll see what happens. Maybe if I'm lucky, she'll stick with the cone for a while. Or I'll just keep playing guitar to her for hours because that seemed to settle her.
sorry for what you've lost A part of you gone But I will always be with you finally did it. We got her into a pseudical. And I cannot even describe the amount of relief that I feel. It's also kind of cute, not gonna lie. It's her color too.